Hi, I'm Tom Stewart with Cleaning Business Today. In today's KPI tip, we're going to show you how to calculate your employee turnover rate and measure it as it changes on a month-to-month -month basis. We're going to start off with a couple of pieces of data that you can get from either your payroll service provider or your software that you use to do your payroll calculations. We need your monthly employee headcount, and we also need the number of employees that left your company in that same given month. I'm going to have data here in this example going back starting to in January of 2013. I'm going to go down to December 13. I'm going to click here and I'm going to do a summation of 12 months from January through December of 13. This number here is the trailing 12 month total. I'm also going to do that number for the number of people who left the company. I'm going to take the number of people that left and I'm going to divide it by the total of employees and that gives me a number of 5%. I'm going to take the 5% and I'm going to multiply it times 12 which gives me an annual turnover rate of 59%. And I guess I can just back this out and show a decimal place here just to give you some idea what's happening with the rounding. I'm going to drag that down uh, to this month here and you can see our annual turnover rate actually is getting better because we were losing fewer employees and this is our equivalent annual turnover rate and you can update this every month. Uh, next month I'm going to show you how you can take this spreadsheet and this data and create a pretty cool graph that you can use to uh, measure your employee retention performance. I hope that you found this KPI tip helpful. Thank you for watching Cleaning Business Today.